What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm giving my honest thoughts on the two latest technologies from Adidas and Nike that are both designed to be the future of footwear, Adidas 4D and Nike self-lacing. Nike and Adidas are the two largest footwear companies in the world and they both have a very different vision of what the future of footwear is. Both brands have performance-based technologies that offer the wearer a level of customizability that no shoe has been able to give up to this point. But before we dive any deeper, let me explain the differences between the technologies being offered by each of these companies. Adidas is developing a 3D printed midsole with the company Carbon. That technology allows Adidas to literally print a midsole to individual specifications. The size, shape, and feel of the midsole can be changed for each print so that every single midsole, if needed, can be completely different. The reason for doing this is so that one day you can walk into an Adidas store, have your foot 3D scanned, and then have an individualized midsole printed for you on the spot to your exact specifications. This would allow the midsole of your shoe to fit you perfectly so you'd never have to worry about your arch not being supported enough or the ball of your foot not landing in the right spot. Conversely, Nike is approaching the problem of customization in a very different way. Nike has created a system called the Fit Adapt System. This is a little motor that rests inside the midsole of each shoe that allows you to tighten or loosen the fit of your shoe on the fly to fit your needs at that exact moment. This technology is currently being used mainly for Nike basketball and it gives players the option to tighten or loosen their shoes whether they're in the heat of the game or sitting on the bench instantly. Using your phone or adjusting the buttons on the side of the shoe, this system is much faster than unlacing and relacing your shoe anytime you want to adjust the fit. Another benefit is that these shoes are very useful for the disabled who lack the dexterity to tie their own shoes. Each option offers its own solution to customizability, whether it's on-the-fly fit adjustment or a midsole that's basically just molded to your foot. And because these technologies are so new, they're not cheap. The Adidas 4D usually costs $300 in store, whereas the Nike Adapt BB starts at $350. And they're both heavily in demand and very limited, which makes them almost impossible to buy in store. So the question is, which technology is truly the future of footwear? Is it both? or is it neither? To find out, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of each shoe. Adidas 4D is only customizable one time. Once you print it, you can't change it. But because of that, the midsole can be designed to be very strong and durable. Since it doesn't have to adapt to different situations, it can be beat up and worn down and still be wearable. Nike Fit Adapt, on the other hand, can be readjusted as much as needed. Rather than just cupping the bottom of your foot, it actually wraps all the way around the top of it. During exercise, your foot expands, and the Nike Fit Adapt system allows you to loosen up the shoe to account for the change in foot size. Not only that, but the system can be set up to change depending on the situation. Now the Nike Adapt BB can't exactly do that yet, but all that's needed is a firmware update. The downside of the self-lacing system is that there's a ton of electronics and a few moving parts underneath your foot. This means that there's a chance for mechanical failure. Maybe the wireless charge receiver in the shoe stops working so you can't charge the battery anymore. Maybe the motor just burns out. Maybe you even puncture the battery. There are so many things that can go wrong in the electronics and the moving moving parts of the shoe that just aren't a problem for the Futurecraft 4D. Of course, that's not to say that 4D sneakers are perfect. As of right now, they're not very comfortable. They get small rocks caught in the midsole and cleaning dirt out of this shoe is just a huge pain. But they're a lot less likely to all of a sudden just not be wearable. I think both technologies are incredible and both are very exciting. In fact, I even think that there's a place for both of these technologies in the modern and even the future world. But if you asked me right now to choose one that I had to wear every single day, I'd go with the 4D. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. World-renowned industrial designer Dieter Rams once said, good design is as little as possible. Less, but better because it concentrates on the essential aspects and the products are not burdened with non-essentials. Back to purity, back to simplicity. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I would love to know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below. And as always, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe down below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.